Hey there, math friends. We're gonna take a look at the quizzes question types designed for math problems. So here's a hotspot question type where basically you put an image on the background and students will select certain spots on the image that are correct. So in this particular case, they're selecting the part of the image or the part of the graph that has a slope of negative two. And then when they select the correct or they select an image, um, they click submit and it'll either be right or wrong. This is another example using Hotspot with error analysis. So putting a worked out problem in the background and then having a Hotspot, having students select the Hotspot or the section that shows the problem, um, shows where the mistake is in the problem. So this is our labeling question type, still putting an image on the background, but now there is a, almost like a word bank, but in this case, an equation bank, uh, where students can drag the correct equation to the correct spot on the graph. So they could say there's the y equals two, and then the y equals negative x plus five, and so on and so forth. This is our math response question type. And these question types are great because students can answer with the math um, notation, and it will mark it right or wrong. So we have the inequality x plus four is less than or equal to 11, which is the answer x is less than or equal to seven. And without having to um, finagle with not using math type um, and students being confused, they clearly see what the math type is and are able to um, answer appropriately. They also have the ability to answer with exponents, radicals, logarithms, fractions, um, trig and radians and so on and so forth. Our reorder question type is great for putting fractions in order from least to greatest or steps in order algorithmically, um, basically dragging and dropping the tiles into the right spots to determine the fractions in order from least to greatest. This one is our drag and drop question type, making a word bank. The difference between this question type and the dragging of the tiles and the labeling is that instead of having an image in the background, you have statements in the background. So filling in the blank of a sentence, or in this, in this case, filling in the blank of how many times. This is our matching question type, and notice how you can put images in the tiles for the matching. So the tiles could be words, of course, but they can also also be images. So in this case of define of um, students have just learned about the different types of slope, they can take a look at matching, you know, positive slope and negative slope and a slope of zero and an undefined slope. And that could be a great way to um, check their skill set on some basic vocabulary. In this question type, this is a drop down question great for questions that It'd be really nice if you just had the image of it so that students can see the entire question wherever you took the screenshot from. They can read the question, and in this particular case, they have to decide which statements comparing the function and its inverse are true, given this cubic function. Once they read through that question, which you've provided the image of, they can answer the same way they would as if they were answering it on paper um, by using the drop down option. Last but not least, we have our graphing question type. Now you can graph points, lines, parabolas, and exponential functions on the quizzes graphing question type. You can also add reference graphs. So for this particular case, you're given f of x, which is the graph in black, and the students have to plot g of x, which is f of x plus two. Now they have to know that they can move both, move and drag both points to create the quadratic that they are trying to create and answer um, f of x plus two. But uh, let me backtrack. So the reference graphs can also be points, lines, parabolas, and exponentials as well. And again, students add points and graphs by clicking and dragging on the coordinate grid. I hope this gave you some great ideas for how you can use our quizzes question types to level up learning in math.